Welcome to Plant and Machinery Valuation. Plant and Machinery Valuation occupies an unusual position within the valuation world. A lot of valuers look down on plant and machinery as something below the dignity of a property valuer because somehow valuing everything from gaming machines and bar equipment to bulldozers and perhaps even complex conveyor systems in factories and airports is somehow not as exciting as property. I hope you're able to take a bigger view of this. There are at least three reasons why plant machinery valuation is important. The first reason is that plant machinery valuation gets us to look at yet another specialised form of property and we can see that the methods are quite similar to property valuation. We're still going to be looking at comparables. We're going to have a bit more of an emphasis on the cost approach, especially the tricky question of depreciation. The reason for the valuation is very, very important in plant machinery because there's a lot of plant machinery work that has to be done for tax purposes rather than necessarily purchase and sale and understanding the ins and outs of what taxation related valuation requires is extremely important in P&M, property, uh, plant machinery valuation. And so if you're thinking about going into this area, make sure you spend a little bit of time going through the various tax legislations and regulations as they apply. That's the first reason that it is similar to property valuation. And it teaches us a little bit more about the practicalities, if you like, of value and how to think of value and the way that value changes. And so I think plant machinery is a very interesting specialist valuation type. The second is that if you do take an interest in plant machinery valuation, you may find yourself in an interesting specialization, which can be quite lucrative. And it gives you, to a certain extent, an insulation against the property market. Property market goes up and down, as we all know, it's loosely connected to the business cycle. Plant machinery is following a different pattern. And it also has a different clientele, different challenges, and so it's almost a different business. It's also, for those people who take it seriously, can be quite lucrative. So it has a lot of attractions as a professional direction, as a specialization within valuation. So don't cast it aside because often P&M valuers appear to be less qualified. They might be less qualified from a property point of view, but uh, usually they have a very good idea of what they're doing. Okay, the third reason is because if you, as you move into valuing complex properties, uh, let's say hotels, but there are many other facilities, say complex specialised factories and so on, very often they have a significant plant and machinery component. And so it's often useful to have the skills to understand the way that plant machinery works in order to tackle the plant machinery part of the valuation of the entire asset. And, and so it is very useful to have plant machinery valuation. It's not property, but it's often connected with property. And so that makes it an important adjunct to have if you go into property. I think it helps uh, property valuers become a bit more flexible and a bit more creative, especially when they find themselves with interesting and unusual projects. And so it can help you professionally just develop a bit of an edge. In one module, obviously, we're not going to go very far into plant and machinery. It really only is a bit of a taster. But Look at what we go through. You'll find that we'll be dealing with asset registers and the complexities of depreciation and introducing you to some of the variables there. We're also going to be doing some maths with uh, this work. And so I think you'll find it a useful exercise. 
But as I say, take plant machinery quite seriously because even if you don't see yourself specializing in it completely, it's very useful to know when it can benefit maybe some project that you're doing.